What's up, you guys? It's Sneakers and Chris. I am back here with another shoe review for guys. Today we have here the Jordan 4 Starfish. But before getting into this video, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe by the end after, after this video. And if you do like it, smash it up. It comes a long way. Comment, let me know what your thoughts on the video or your opinions on the shoe. If you want to reach out to me, make sure you reach out, reach out to me to Instagram at ChrisMIA underscore. And if you want to see some shoe content on TikTok, make sure you check out the TikTok at Chris, um, Sneakers and Chris on TikTok. Now let's get to this video. Thank you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and like it up. Starting off with the box as we always do. We do have this white box with the jumping and gold in front. And then not much going around the box. Another jumping and gold right here. I'll take you guys to the label. The label reads, Woman's Air Jordan 4 Retro SE. Color cell black starfish. Eight and a half woman and it's a seven Y. So I guess a seven men and seven Y, seven youth, seven GS. Retail was 200. It was a bit high retail. We usually we get um, retail for Jordan 190, but this one was 200 with so it tax around 214, 215. Now as we go inside, oh, don't forget the 23 and go right here. As we go inside the box, not much special, but we do have um, the paper wrapping, which is in white with the 23 going around. And nothing else. All right, guys. So now we got the shoe out. First thing I want to do is smell it. I like this smell. It smells pretty nice. Um, I do it because I like smelling shoes. That's just uh, um, something I do like. But aside from that, let's get to the shoe. The shoe released today, January 22nd, which is a Friday. Um, not a Saturday. Not your typical Saturday release. Um, like I said, retail was $200. This only released in women no kids no men's just woman flat woman from um, whatever started to 12 women so many a lot of people is going for a, a bigger size because if the guys want it they'll probably go for like the bigger size because these um the starfish we had the starfish 13s that came out last weekend i be, um i believe it was the the 16 if i'm wrong correct me but if you haven't checked out that video i did a um, i did a review on that um jordan 13 starfish so check it out if you can after this video or pause it or check it out i'll leave the link below but aside from that this is the second starfish we got i'm not sure what's the idea behind the starfish meaning with this one and the 13s but the fours actually look somewhat similar to the bread fours that we we had um i say a year ago or a year and a half or close to two years ago um just by going with the cement bottom and the midsole and the eyelids right here it gives you a um, resemblance of the bread force but aside from that it's some it's, it's a lot of different things going on on the shoe starting with the bottom we're gonna go with the outsole first you do see the colors um instead of white you do have the cell um jordan been trying to um eliminate the white on most shoes and just putting out cell i guess is a better way so your shoe don't look too dirty that's in my opinion and you do have the jump in and the also which is in black then you got some cement going on and you have on the in the top and the bottom you have the starfish color going on and we're going to the midsole like i said it gives you that bread forest vibe you got the black and the cement right here going all around the shoe and inside the shoe then aside from that you like i said the eyelids which is in gray like the like the bread forest and you got this part which is in black the brackets then um for the material of the the whole shoe actually i'll say this is like a scratchy material not exactly the same a little bit the same way as the off white cell that we had but i'll say it's a little different but you do the material is very different you could like it's like you could see a little starfish like um the orange behind the black so it's giving us that kind of vibe and then you do see little outlines going throughout the shoe of the starfish orange colorway. Then aside from that, we go going to the laces. We do have the black laces, all black laces, no extra laces. Um, we do behind the laces, we have the nets, the cages, the nets, however you want to call them. 
behind it in black. Then going to the tongue, we do have the patch in black with the jumpman and that starfish orange colorway saying flight on the bottom. And then for the tongue itself, you, you have that exposed tongue like we usually get like off-white be doing. They did an exposed tongue. It's pretty nice and it's cell, the inside is cell. And it has the um the Air Jordan upside down. Like we usually get on a regular Jordan 4s. Then another color that's cell inside is the, you can see right here is cell, but this is not exposed like the tongue. This is the regular material. Then the insole is actually orange. Then going around to the back, the heel tab, you do see the jump man and gray. And then you do see more outlines of the um, starfish orange going around. And you have this in black. All right, guys, so that was pretty much it on my review on the Jordan 4 um, starfish. Um, let me know if you got them or if you skipped it. Or let me know if um, your girl got them or ladies, let me know if you guys got them. This is a um, woman exclusive release, so congrats to you guys. It's a pretty nice shoe. Make sure to rate it. You guys, um, from a scale one to ten, I'm giving this an eight. I, I am a I am a fan of fours, but I will pass on these. Like getting a personal pair, typically for me, I'd rather get another type of fours, like the bread fours or some type of fours. But these, I'll pass for a personal pair. But it's still a good shoe. It still looks nice, and I think, um, yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty good shoe for the ladies. Make sure to rate it down below in the comments and let me know what you guys think in your opinions. But that's pretty much it for me. And Sneakers and Chris, I am out. And don't forget to check out the Instagram. Don't forget to check out my business at Topping305. I'll leave that the link in the below and it'll show below here. Thank you again. Sneakers and Chris.